Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Solution from here, from what is given, which is x raised to power 3 plus 1 equals to into bracket x minus 5 close bracket square here. Yeah. From the identity, when we have a minus b or square. This same thing as a square plus b square minus 2ab. Applying this to what we have on the right, here we have x raised to power 3 plus 1, then equals to x square plus 5 square minus 2 times x times 5 from here. Then from here we solve for that. Then here we still have x raised to power 3 plus 1. Then equals to here we have x square plus 5 square is 5 times 5, which is 25. Then minus 2 times 5, that's 10. Then 10 x from here. And here let's take everything to one side and rearrange. Then here we have x raised to power 3, then plus x square comes here become minus x square. And here we have minus 10x comes here become plus 10x. Then we have plus 1. And plus 25 comes here become minus 25. Now equals to 0 from here. And also here, this becomes x raised to power 3 minus x square plus 10x minus 24 here equals to 0 from here. Then here we have a cubic equation and here we can get one of the roots by substituting the factor of 24 and here let's put x equals to 2 from here. That is here this equation becomes 2 raised to power 3 from here, then minus 2 square plus 10 multiplied by 2 minus 24 with this be equals to 0 here. Then here 2 raised to power 3, 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, minus 2 square, 2 times 2, that's 4. Then plus 10 times 2, which is 20, minus 24, is equals to 0 here. Then 8 minus 4, that's 4, plus 20, 24, then minus 24, is equals to 0. Then this is 0, which is equals to 0. And here it implies that x equals to 2 is a root, which also means that x minus 2 is a factor. Of the polynomial. Now to get the other factor, which will be a quadratic factor from here, let's divide this polynomial by 2 using synthetic division. Then here we have 2 here. Then the coefficient of this polynomial, which are 1, minus 1, 10, minus 24. We write it out 1, minus 1. 10 minus 24 then from here we draw this first one which is 1 then 1 times 2 here give us 2 we write it here then we sum this minus 1 plus 2 that's 1 then here 2 times 1 that's 2 then the sum of this we have 12 then 2 times 12 that's 24 then the sum of this is 0. Now here the remainder is 0, which confirms that 2 is a root. The other factor here we then have this coefficient, which is quadratic. So this becomes x squared plus x plus 12 from here. And here we solve this equation now to get the solution. Then we have then solving this, we have two possible cases. 
which is x minus 2 equals to 0 or x square plus x plus 12 equals to 0 from here. And on this side, taking minus 2 here, that's x equals to 2 from here, which is a real solution here. Now, on this side, we solve this quadratic equation where a here is 1, b here is 1, then c is 12. From the formula, x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then x is now equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times 1 times 12. Then over 2 times 1. That is here we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 48 then over 2. That is from here this is also x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root minus 47 over 2. And since here, this can be written as x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 47 times root minus 1 over 2. Then here, we have x now equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 47i over 2. So from here, we have two complex solutions from here, which means altogether, we have three solutions. One real solution, that is x1 equals to 2. Then x2 from here equals to minus 1 plus root 47i over 2. And x3 we have minus 1 minus root 47i over 2. So we have these three solutions, one real solution and two complex solutions. Now here, let's check if x equals to 2 satisfy this given problem. When we substitute x equals to 2 from what we have, then here this becomes 2 raised to power 3 plus 1 is equals to 2 minus 5 square. Then from what we have, 2 raised to power 3 to multiply itself 3 places, that's 8. Then plus 1 is equals to here we have minus 3 square. Then 8 plus 1 here, that's 9, which is equals to when we raise minus 2. Even number is plus, then 3 squared as 3 times 3, which is 9. Which means left hand side equals to right hand side. And hence from here, x equals to 2 satisfies the given problem. Which, when we test for the other solutions to it, we satisfy. And thank you for watching. Subscribe for more exciting videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next class and bye for now.